Next up on our 2024 CBC Fall Sports Media Day tour is the Kirtland Cross Country team. The girls will kick things off. Got head coach J.P. Moran here. Coach, give us a little uh, preview. What can we expect this season out of the defending Valley Division champs? Uh, yeah, you know, um, hopefully uh, we have an exciting season. We have tremendous senior leadership. Uh, Sylvia and Ainsley are here today. I, I can't believe they're seniors already. Um, it's kind of wild. Um, we've got um, some incoming freshmen that, um, you know, could make an immediate impact. Um, we have uh, our entire four by eight team that qualified for state and track is on the cross country team. So they're all, uh, you know, out this season. And then we'll have, you know, so um, we did lose some seniors, some great leadership, but we've got tremendous people coming back. Uh, many of our top five and they've all been uh, working really hard, not just in the summer, but before that in track and then indoor track state four by eight. So, um, you know, they really haven't let off the gas. So, uh, you know, we've got about right now about 14 girls, um, possibly a couple more. Uh, you know, it's it's early. So uh, some people, you know, see the light and join. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's, uh, you know, uh, you know, just looking uh, to build on the success of last season and, uh, you know, uh, finish strong at the end there. You know, you've been building this program up uh, for the last dozen or so years. I have to imagine this is one of the one, the one of the seasons you're most excited for because of the talent you return and, and the success they've had in the past. So is this one of the best teams you've put out? Uh, well, yeah, sure. You know, I, right now, obviously season hasn't started, but um on paper, um, it's the but yeah, the best team <laughs> I've ever been a part of in cross country. And uh, you know, uh, we've got people with track, state experience, indoor and outdoor. We've got um, state cross country experience with Ainsley, and then the rest of the girls came with her uh, last year to see the course, uh, kind of get a feel for it. Uh, we had an alumni, um, you know. Um, allow the whole team to come down to the state meet, um, which was awesome, um, you know, just to get a feel for that. Um, and then, you know, um, even like, you know, freshman Kylie Sale watched her sister Jenna run at state, um, you know, her mom and dad uh, went, went to state for Kirtland way back in the day. Um, so, yeah, uh, it, uh, very exciting um, on paper. And then, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, uh, everybody – hits at the right time and uh, we all put it together uh, at the right time. All right. Sounds good, coach. I'll come back to you after I talk to the girls. Ainsley, we'll start with you. Uh, senior year, you've come a long way from that freshman season. You had uh, your, your state experience and, you know, now you're coming in, you've got one last crack at it. How excited are you for this senior year? I'm really excited. I feel like I've definitely like, worked really hard to get where I am. So I'm excited to see like how everything um, works out and see what all my hard work, hard work was for. You've seen this program kind of take a, a, that next step every year. Can that continue? Can you guys take that next step as, and, and make it to state as a team? I think so. I think we have a really good top seven. And I think with um, some of our upcoming runners, I think we have a really good shot. And I think I believe we could do it. So um, I'm really hopeful for that. And you guys aren't just teammates. You guys all get along really well. I mean, you have a lot of fun together, especially that four by eight team. How much does that chemistry help to push you guys to, to make each other run a little faster and push a little harder? Oh, I think it helps a lot. I think because of like our friendships outside of the sport, it's really easy to push each other and believe in each other. And then it just makes us go that much further as a team. I think, Without our um, friendships, I don't think we would have gotten this far. I know your goals are to get back to the state meet for sure and, you know, probably take your teammates with you. Um, what else are you looking to accomplish as a senior? I'm just excited to have my last year. I kind of want to just give it all I got. I want to be able to, um, like, finish my races and have nothing left. That's one thing my dad is always on me about. So I always just want to be, I think I just want to give everything I have and um, make sure I left everything out there. Make sure it's worth it. 
you're a senior, when you were that wide-eyed freshman, you had some girls that you were able to look up to and learn from. What have you done and what are you doing now to kind of help the younger girls find their way on the course? I think um, just trying to be the best role model I can be, um, trying to show um, just my hard work, um, make sure everyone feels like supported and make sure um, I'm there for everyone, kind of just putting out that like, um, just like the persona. Um, so I can be a role model for these um, younger girls and just be someone they could talk to and like have fun. Outstanding. All right. Well, good luck to you this fall. Sylvia, on to you. Yeah. There we go. Your mic. There we go. All right. So Sylvia coming in, same thing, you know, senior year, you, you've been around a while. Uh, you know, how are you feeling heading into this senior season? I'm really excited. Like Marianne said, we got the best team so far on paper and we're all just putting in a ton of work and we're excited to see how far we can go. You've been, you know, on the team for the last three years. So this is your fourth year too. So you've seen it grow and you've helped raise that bar. What has it been like just to kind of be a part of that, turning this program into a, a really po a real powerhouse in division three? It's been awesome just to see our names popping up everywhere and all of our hard work paying off. It's just, we all work really hard and we set that example for each other. And of course it wasn't like the program was really good before we came into it. We had great role models like Riley and Delaney and we just hit the ground running with them as our role models and have worked even harder. And now it's all paying off. Ainsley kind of took off. She, you know, you guys had this nice pack of runners Ainsley kind of took the lead there, but everyone beyond that is really close together. How much does that help just to kind of push each other to, to take those extra steps and, and cut some time off of your races? It helps a lot because, I mean, obviously if we're close together, then we're going to place better with less points. So that helps push us individually. That helps push us as a team. It helps us a lot. Yeah that experience with the four by eight team going to the state track meet, how can that help translate to cross country and shake out some of those nerves when you get to the district and regional meets? It can help a lot. That state meet wasn't like anything I've ever experienced. Just the energy and just everything going on there was crazy. I'd never run in an environment like that. So going into the cross country season, it's like, it just showed me that it is possible to get there and that if you put in the work, you can and it just makes me more excited to make another state appearance. Playing soccer again, I assume? I am playing soccer, yeah. I don't think we have a time slot for media day, though. Not yet, yeah. But uh, pool and double duty, that's never easy. How are you managing that, uh, keeping yourself you know, physically ready, but also getting in the training you need to get for both sports? A lot of days are doubles. I'll have uh, soccer in the evening and then cross country in the morning, but I'm playing center mid, I think, permanently in soccer this year. So that's running easily like five miles a game. So sometimes I can work both training into one game, but a lot of times it's double staying after practice or before. And a lot of ice. Yeah, sometimes I <laughs> raw dog it and just push through it. But yeah. All right. Sounds good. Well, good luck to you this season. Coach, I'll go back to you. We've talked to a couple of the, the top runners on the team. You've got a, a whole bunch of others out, that are out there. But uh, what's it going to take for this team to do that and take that next step and get to state as a team? Um, you know, I, uh, the beauty is they, they're they super smart athletes. Um, you, you heard them. They want it. They work really hard. Um, I think what's going to, you know, um, the previous years we've had that really solid upfront pack um, you know, uh, girls that are qualifying individually for regionals, um, and then it gets the team there. Um, but like you talked about the pack, we'll, we'll need to get, you know, five to seven, um, all moving up, working together, um, to get that team score into that top four at regionals, uh, to get the state. And, um, you know, um, I just, it feels great just like hearing them and talking about it. Um, you know, 15 years ago, our, you know, uh, you know, our first goal was to win the win the conference. And um, and now we've got multiple conference titles in a row. And um, and, you know, all these regional appearances knocking on the door. So, um, 
you know, the last time we've had individuals, obviously, um, over the years recently make it to make it to state. But um, uh, I believe it's 38 years since uh, a full team uh, has wow. made it. Uh, so it would uh, I, you know, I'd want nothing more than these girls to make that history. Uh, you know, that would just be uh, the highlight of uh, <laughs> a highlight of our uh, our career. <laughs> For sure. All right, Coach. Well, I'm going to see you again in a couple minutes with the boys team. But Ainsley and uh, Sylvia, thanks for joining us to preview your season. Good luck to you this fall. Coach, I'll see you in a few minutes. All right. I'll see you soon.